In this world, humans always live side by side with other creatures, especially with animals. It is no longer a new thing when humans are friendly and lives with animals. However, out of the many animals that exist in this world, cats and dogs are probably the most chosen animals to be befriended and to become pets. Apart from being adorable and smart, these two animals are also domesticated and classified as loyal species. Due to the full attention of their owners, these animals often participate in whatever activities of their masters, such as relaxing at home, playing, watching television, and taking walks. Of all the friendships that occur between humans and animals, some of them can get quite unique. And here is the unique friendship between humans and animals. A Human and a Penguin a Magellan-type penguin who was helped by a Brazilian man from a puddle of crude oil never forgets and he keeps visiting him for the past four years. Of course, this help has made an impression on the memory of this bird-type animal. In 2011, a former construction worker named João Pereira de Souza, who lived in the fishing village of the island of Ilha Grande, Brazil, found a penguin covered in crude oil. Initially, the penguin was found lying on the beach. Then the man took the dying bird to the shade and cleaned it and forced him to eat the fish, after which he took the penguin to the water so he could swim again. The man gave the penguin the name Jin Jing, and it was discovered that it was the beloved nickname in most parts of Brazil. It is not surprised that the penguins have become a favorite of the village. A Girl and a Crow some time ago, an eight-year-old girl named Gabby Mann, who lived in the Seattle area in the United States, got very lucky because she could be liked by a bird, specifically a crow. It is known that Gabby's relationship with the crow took place in 2011. At that time, she was still four years old when she got out of the car, then accidentally dropped her food. Then there it was, a crow that just basically took the food with also other crows watching it, hoping that more food would fall. And as she grew older, she shared her lunch with crows who were lined up at a bus stop. In 2013, Gabby and Lisa started giving food to crows as a daily activity. Each morning, they fill a container in the backyard with fresh water and fill the bird feeder with nuts. Then all of a sudden, various kinds of gifts appeared when after they did this routine. It is known that the crow will finish its food and they will leave gifts in the empty dining area. The prizes come in various types from miniature silver balls, blue paper clips, yellow beads and a blue Lego piece. Human and Quibi the Gorilla Recently, a story of friendship between humans and animals was clear, and this story was experienced by a man named Damien Aspinall with a gorilla. Damien is known to have raised a baby gorilla named Quibi, and since being raised, Damien has had a very strong bond with the gorilla. However, he also realized the risks of his friendship because surely one day, the gorilla named Quibi must be released into the wild, right? When he was an adult and Quibi was old enough to take care of himself, he was finally released into the wild. For five years, these true two friends did not see each other and until finally, Damien tried to meet Quibi again in the forest where they released the gorilla. Some people have warned Damien that now Quibi has become a wild gorilla that can be very dangerous. There was even news that the last two people who met Quibi had been attacked in the forest. Even though he had not seen him for five years, Quibi rushed over to the person who had taken care of him from childhood. Seeing Quibi who had appeared, Damien jumped from his boat and sat down near his best friend. The gorilla finally embraced Damien and introduced his friend to his new family in the wild. A Girl and Her Duck Kylie Brown is a very special five-year-old girl. The reason is, since childhood, she has become the mother of her adopted child in the form of a cute duck named Snowflake. The first time it was brought home, Snowflake was in a box and kept making sounds. When Kylie came and saw Snowflake, the little duck, which was still yellow, suddenly fell silent. 
wherever Kylie goes, Snowflake will follow her. But if Kylie is not around, this cute duck will immediately open up, start chirping and panicking. In a short time, the little girl and Snowflake became inseparable friends, and as Kylie got older, she also became more and more responsible for Snowflake. Kylie even said many times that Snowflake is indeed her son. Kylie and Snowflake did all kinds of activities, from reading books, playing in the snow, swimming, and even playing costumes on Halloween. The funny thing is, they slept together and when Kylie had to go to school, Snowflake would be waiting for her at the bus stop. Lion and its owner Some time ago, an animal behavior expert named Kevin Richardson managed to save two little lions from drowning in a river. The two poor lion cubs were abandoned by their mother, and if without Kevin's help, these two animals would have been caught by the hunters. During the parenting period, the two cubs were named Meg and Amy. Both of them received a lot of attention from Kevin so that the three of them formed a pretty strong bond. Kevin even said that Meg and Amy are soulmates. However, as the two of them grew older, they had to be released into the wild. It is known that Kevin made a documentary where he returned to the wild to find the two lions he had cared for seven years ago, namely Meg and Amy. When Kevin and his camera crew finds the lions and approach them, they reacted aggressively. But a moment later, Kevin approached them and even though he knows his life is in danger. When Kevin did approach, however, unexpectedly, a reunion moment occurred where one of the lions jumped into the water and headed straight for Kevin to hug him. But instead of tearing him apart, the lion gave him a huge welcoming embrace. Human and Lioness In January 2015, an environmental conservationist named Valentin Gruiner managed to find a lioness he named Sirga in terrible conditions on a farm owned by a farmer in the Kalahari region in Botswana. Gruner was working with the landowner who was granted permission to save the young lion and raise him. And after three years together, the two seemed inseparable. The lioness understands the love that her friend has given to her. Currently, Sirga has been released back into the wild, but he will jump and hug Gruner whenever the two shall meet again. It is known that Gruner himself taught Sirga how to catch animals in the bush. After months of work, Sirga has finally learned to adapt to the African wilderness. Celebrity and Lion A Hollywood artist named Tippi Hedren is known to have an unusual pet. If people usually choose cats or dogs as friends or pets at home, this beautiful artist chooses a male lion, named him Neil, and became her best friend at home. In some personal photos, the friendship between the two can be very seen when Neil swims with his son, Melanie, and there are also photos when Herden is relaxing reading the newspaper while leaning on the body of the lion named Neil. Although the lion named Neil never hurt the Hedron family, he never attacked his trainer who was also named Ron Oxley. Fortunately, by then Oxley had control of Neil and the lion regained his composure. Hedron himself admitted that he was not afraid of Neil because he had been told by Oxley about what he could do and could not do with a lion named Neil. Human and Crocodile some time ago, a man named Chito, who came from Costa Rica, managed to form an unusual friendship with a crocodile which he named Pocho. Chito's friendship with Pocho began 20 years ago when he saw a crocodile shot in front of his eyes by a livestock farmer near the Parizima River. Sympathy for Pocho, who almost died, Chito took Pocho back to his house and treated Pocho's wounds and made sure that the animal would heal. He also regularly feeds Pocho who sleeps with him and treats him very well. After Poncho recovered, Chito released him back into the wild. However, how shocked Chito was because the next day the crocodile came back to his house. <laughs> From here, the man began to form a friendship with Poncho. The friendship between the two then went viral and became a spectacle for residents and tourists who came to their village. Their friendship lasted for at least 20 years but unfortunately, all great things must come to an end because in 2011, Poncho passed away. 
The crocodile, however, died naturally because he was quite old, which is around 50, and the crocodile was buried in the village where Chito lived. Grandpa and Bears A bear is a beast. Therefore, not many people dare to approach it. However, this does not apply to a grandfather named Charlie Vandergaard, who lives in Canada. Vandergaard himself kept the wild animal and made it the animal he loved the most. It is known that for about two decades, the former science teacher spent his time in the interior of Alaska where he decided to live and feed the bears who live in the region. However, his actions then became a disaster for himself where he was fined for trespassing and he had to pay a fine of 20,000 US dollars. Husband and Wife and Wolf A man named Sean, who is known as a wolf specialist along with his wife, who is a conservation biologist, had a very big concern for wolves. This makes them nicknamed the werewolves. Over the years, Ellis has consistently carried out his profession as a special wolf researcher based on his love for these wild animals. Therefore, in 2011, Sean Ellis and his wife, Dr. Isla Ellis, moved to the wolf center to check out some of the wolves in the area. This move gives them the ability to focus more on researching and paying attention to the actual wolves' lives. Uniquely, apart from being seen playing with wolves, the two of them also often howled like a wolf.